Just kidding, her ears pierced. We just arrived at Laura Mercier back. Can you tend to profile? <laughs> doing red light therapy. You guys, guess where I'm going right now? Let me give you the tea about these random New York spots that I found out about only after I moved here. So you know how like Soho House is like a private social club where literally you pay to like sit in a building and like be with other people who've paid to sit in that building? <laughs> Zerobon is basically that on like New York steroids. It's like a little bit more exclusive. I think they only have Zerobon in New York. It's on Bond Street. I will say I've been there a couple times, not because I have a membership, but because they will hold like events there. And a lot of the time, they are pretty fun, so whatever. Except for this one time, but other than that, this company called Grove, which is like a cleaning supply, home goods, stuff like that, like our detergent. I'm literally doing laundry right now using the Grove detergent that they sent me. It's like more concentrated, so you use less product. It's like better for the planet. They're launching a collection with Drew Barrymore. We got invited and we're gonna go, but I don't know if Miss Drew herself will be there. I hope so. That's literally why I'm so excited to go because she's just the sweetest. And it's also International Women's Day. So she is a female that I would like to meet. Hopefully that happens for us I'm currently waiting for my uber to go through so I can get going. It's not working. Oh before we go there I need to go to this jewelry event, which is also in the area. So yeah, you guys are coming with me. Hey guys, so we left the Grove Drew Barrymore event. Samir and I came to Ashton and she's getting I, her ears pierced. I'm gonna get. I have low pain tolerance. I actually have high pain tolerance. Good for you! I'm gonna get kind of an odd spot, like right here in the middle. Last time I got my ears pierced, I was six months old. I've waited quite a while. <laughs> you alright? Yeah. <laughs> Never as bad as you anticipated. Yeah. You guys, my ear is a little bit red. It's fine. It really didn't hurt that much. I was a trooper. She was like, if you could do this when you were six months old, you're 22, like, you can handle it right now. And I was like, yes, I can. Me and Spirit said, come to Ruby's just for like a quick dinner. She literally comes here five times a week. She's actually a friends and family customer. She gets a discount. It was just a regular Wednesday night, so good to go home. Good night. Hey, you guys. I feel like it's been a minute since I like picked up my camera to vlog at home Like I feel like I've been traveling and posting a lot of like travel vlogs But here we are another week in my life in NYC and I'm gonna be in town for a second The next trip I have coming up is Coachella, which isn't for another month So vibes I get to just kind of relax actually probably less than a month because I'm trying to get to LA a little bit earlier But let me tell you guys what I'm doing this evening. It is currently 543 the Sun is still like beaming into my room which makes me so fucking happy finally daylight savings kicked in this is like when my life starts going back up again this is when my serotonin comes back to my body like daylight saving times happens and then boom i don't know i just like the spring vibes are here oh my god i need to put something on my lips this is the Hourglass High Gloss Shine. It's like a lipstick, lip gloss hybrid. It looks really cute. Just went to Jamaica with Dolce Vita, which is a shoe company, which you guys probably saw in my last vlog. That's why I have this kind of embarrassing tan. It's not even a tan. I, I got burnt, you guys. And I actually got back to New York last night. So it hasn't even been 24 hours. And we're back on track. I'm going to a Laura Mercier event in a second with Samira and Amelia. You guys will see them. But before I head out, I want to show you guys my outfit. I want to do something a little different and then later tonight we're doing a birthday dinner with nil because she turns 20 at midnight <gasps> that we're gonna talk about because i'm still like trying to digest the fact that she's not gonna be a teenager anymore like i'm still sitting with that thought I haven't started processing yet wow you can really see my burn you guys it's because i got a massage and i was all like oiled up and then i sat out in the sun and i didn't have any spf on so it was full on sun damage right there like like, I swear usually I don't burn like that <laughs> because it's kind of in pain I wanted to wear something where there isn't clothing rubbing against it because
because it really does hurt. So I'm wearing this really dark denim Agua Viva top. And then I paired it with these gray pinstripe, super oversized trouser pants. These are from That's So Fetch. And then I'm wearing my classic mini black leather heels. I don't think that the black and the denim are really gelling very well. I'm pretty sure that's breaking at least a few rules in the fashion bible. But I don't really care because I don't know what else I would wear. So we're just gonna have to stick to it. Because I'm still on that like vacation vibe. I actually did get a little bit of color like on my face as well. My Vivian Westwood necklace with this like gold beaded Karen Lazar necklace. So yeah, gold jewelry moment. My earrings and my cuff are from Argento Vivo, which I've been loving their jewelry recently. Yeah, that's my look today. I need to head out because I'm already a little late. Hey okay, guys, we just arrived at the Laura Mercier event. It's so cute in here. Let me show you. Kind of made it look like a hotel. All the shades are out there. I'll give you guys a little tour, but I'm about to get shade matched right now. Samira was here earlier being the model. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. What you guys, this literally is just a pop-up. It's not even like a real store. It looks so legit. Guys, we were in Jamaica taking pictures for five days straight. We come back. Of course, she needs to have more pictures. Taking photos of Emilia. Make a wish, girl. <laughs> You guys, I'm so excited right now because I'm gonna be doing something for the very first time. I've never tried this before. I'm headed over to the Upper East Side. I'm actually not, I'm in my bed right now, but I will be headed over in the next two minutes. I better be, or I will be late for my appointment. I'm going to this place called Sage and Sound and I'm gonna be doing an acupuncture session. They reached out to me and they were like, hey, we'd love for you to come in and like try out acupuncture. And I've never tried out acupuncture, which is actually very surprising for me because I'm all for like holistic treatment. I'm at a point where like I try not to take anything from the pharmacy as much as I can Like if I have a headache, I always look for like a natural alternative before I'll go in and like take an Advil or something like that And I've heard only the best things about acupuncture and how effective it is And so it's kind of weird that I never gave it a shot in the past But I'm so excited to be trying it out today for the first time I better get going or else I'm gonna be late and I'm bringing you guys with me obviously along for the whole experience They're gonna be sticking needles in me. I guess I don't know if this is gonna be painful I I hear that it's not painful at all because the needles are so thin. So I will give you guys like an honest review. <laughs> I just got here. I needed to fill out this form. They asked me a lot of questions about like, not just like the form that you get at like a medical examination, but I don't know, like questions about my mental health, exercise, my diet, my sexual health, obviously anything like medical, stuff like that. And it was very detailed. Anyways. <laughs> Okay, you guys, we just took a photo of my tongue. Your Tinder profile. <laughs> We're gonna analyze it now and see what the shape of my tongue means about me, I guess. I'm laying down now. We're gonna start the acupuncture session. I'm so excited to tell you guys about everything that I just learned. It's so interesting. I love this stuff. I'm really in my happy place right now. Okay, you guys, there's a bunch of needles in me right now, and we're gonna move on to my arms. I might not be able to show you guys. Guys, I can't really move, but we're doing red light therapy and then letting the needles sit for like 25 minutes. Okay, you guys, we removed all the needles from my face, my body, everything's all good. We're gonna do a little aromatherapy on my tummy right here. We're doing our treatment today for bloating. That's the focus, but it's an overall wellness thing. We're gonna put some herbs on my stomach and then a hot towel. So now we basically just put me in this big burrito. There's a lot of like aroma oils on me and then a hot towel and then another towel on top of it. So I'm all tucked in. We're gonna let that kind of marinate. I keep falling asleep. This is so good. I don't want to go home. Can I just stay here forever? And we're done. Wow. You can see the calmness on my face. Like nobody can mess with my vibe right now. I feel so good, you guys. That was awesome. That was so awesome. I love that. Sage plus sound. Upper East Side. You need to make a trip over here. I feel like this could be like a good like gift to give someone like a session here or if you yourself are like struggling with anything, this is your place. And we're done here. Mm -hmm. 
Raz Gran, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're doing a really early workout with SLT. Audrey is hosting the class, so we're all kind of going to support and get our workouts in this morning. I actually really like my little workout outfit I put together. It's very simple, but it's very me. I have been on my workout grind lately. Like, I'm going to go into this summer with such a good, like, healthy, strong bod. That's, like, been my goal, and I've been showing up at the gym, like, three times a week for maybe the past three, four months, which I've never really been that consistent with working out. Like, I'll go through phases where I work out a lot, and then I'll be a couch potato and, like, vegetate for a few months, and then I get back into it. But I'm honestly really proud of how motivated I've been. I honestly think it's because of my Equinox membership being so extensive that I'm like, ah, I'm gonna go. Like, I better go. Anyways, let's just start off with the first layer, wearing this aloe sports bra. I'll link it down below. Just layered it with, like, this basic white crop top. And then I'm wearing this, like, velvet Nike hoodie, which actually used to be, like, a full-size hoodie, but I got bleach on it, so the bottom of it turned completely orange, so I just decided to crop it. And now that I've cropped it, it looks so much cuter. And then I'm wearing my high-waisted Lululemon leggings. I always do my little crew sock over it. And then my Adidas Ultra Boost even though we are doing SLT, which is like Pilates reformer. We're gonna be barefoot, but I need to complete the look, you know? And then my bag is this Prada nylon vintage tote. I need to start heading over because I need to find a cab and get my <laughs> over there. Speaking of ass, she's getting places. Yeah, we're gonna do reformer and treadmill. Okay, at the same time. It just sounds really in time. Guys, Haley told me my butt is getting bigger. It's been big, but it also has been getting big. Look, oh, oh. Gotta go. 